The camo challenges for the soul render are fairly simple. Just get it to level four, get 50 kills. That gives you the Omni Genesis. For the Gilded, you have to get 10 operator kills out of the line of sight of the enemy. For the Forged, 10 operator kills while crouching or sliding. And then for Priceless, 15 kills from behind. And once you have Priceless, there's Interstellar. Okay, let's go on in and earn this thing and see what happens. All right, we've got to get a bunch of melee kills. It's a requirement for getting the soul render, so we're running around low blowing. Like a underground Moby Dick there. And there it is, 10 operator special zombie crouch kills. So let's go ahead and get the soul render. I'm a soul man on the on the class, I put it with the longbow because I just like the longbow sniper. And then we're going to make sure that it got on there because things don't always happen the way we expect. So the first thing we need to go for is the Omni Genesis class, and that is we got to get to level four and then 50 kills with the soul render. So you can see I like to soak on the domination point, on the hard point, because I like winning. This is a close game. Just concentrating on ranking up. I'm already at level two. And the thing that I found vexing about the soul render is if you pull the trigger, when you're close to somebody, it's like an execution. So I got killed a bunch of times standing there. Executing. There was a little love tap towards my teammate. And let's see how far we got. We're at level three after most of one game. So what we're going to do is rank up. So, so one of the things that I tried was pushing down on the right stick like a melee. And that seemed to work for most of them. Except for that one, the ones where you come up behind somebody, you're still doing the execution, which is very dangerous to you. The other thing that I tried was pulling the left trigger instead of the right trigger, and that seemed to work too in terms of not giving, doing an execution that made you stand there and get killed. But the thing about pulling the left trigger is that you got to go against every instinct every natural way that you should be playing cod you have to relearn everything to try to kill somebody with that left trigger and i'm not smart enough to do it there i could play ring around the rosies until i try to execute the guy and he's not dead unless you finish the execution so i'm still using the right trigger and i'm still pushing down on the stick and when I think about it, and I can force my left hand to do it, I use the left trigger. Now one really cool thing about the soul render that I found out afterwards, but I will show you one example, is that it will slice through the shield. So if somebody, some iron face is coming at you, you don't have to throw a Semtex on them, you just slice right through them. There we're at level four, so we have a challenge. The Omni Genesis. So we just need to kill people. The well, shipment is a good place to stab and create massive levels of anger against you. We're on a nice little streak there of four. Run through the fire. I'll come out on the other side. So I'm feeling pretty good about the soul render at this point. I will not feel as good at it when I have to get kills from behind because I don't know how they count those. There's the seventh kill. Get my situational awareness down and we get the fly of veto. 
But I'm not satisfied. I get the merciless. Or oh, there's the ninth kill. Wait for my health to regenerate, gain situational awareness. And then at that point, I pitch a tent for a second. And there's the merciless. It is kind of merciless chopping people up, isn't it? Just going for the 50 kills now. And it looks like I'm not going to quite get there. Unless I really turn things up and get a bunch of double and trips. Just remember I had to rank up to level 4 first. And I get the kill cam at the end. So let's see where we are. Almost 11 kills away from Omni Genesis. Where they come up with that word. So we get the, the dual pistol guy and some lady looking, watching the water go down the tub. Looking around for future victims. And I get gacked. But there's Omni Genesis. So now I've got to kill people out of their line of sight. That's 10 operator kills. And there, the hooded cheeser. I call that guy the hooded cheeser because he was camped in the corner. There's the cheeser. Got him with the longbow, though. There's the bathtub ring lady. Well dressed. There's the cheeser. He's the king. Cheeser again. I like slicing the cheese. And. There's another execution that I didn't want to do, but I'm glad nobody killed me. Taking Bravo. Cheeser got me. The hooded Charlie. Cheeser. And I got the 50 operator kills. We have already seen that. We're already going through the Gilded, killing people out of the line of sight. And a couple of things here. The line of sight requirement and the back stabbing requirement when you execute somebody with the soul render you grab them by the neck and turn them around so I don't think they actually count so you may start with their back to you there's the trailer the trailer man the trailer man stands in the back and he will be my nemesis the whole time there's a another back they're out of line of sight kill there's one that has to be one. And there's Gilded. I get gacked almost every time I get there's Trailer Man. He gacked me. So we're going to go back and get him. Somebody's camping, I'm always coming back to him. And bink! Ooh, Trailer Man's already back. So we're going to. Surgically remove them. All right, that was that for that one. We're still going for low blows now or sliding kills. Walk around, crouch. You're gonna get them. Slide into people. You're gonna get them. I was just swinging in among the smoke there. Low blows are pretty easy. I saw one creator that said going to zombies to do it because they're easier than against live people, but I don't know. I can't do the zombies. There's a double. Continuing to execute people. I'm dying because of it. There I'm soaking on B. 
see where we are. We got the forged. I didn't see the flash. So I'm going to go ahead and equip the forged. And we need 15 kills from behind. Hard to do when they're coming right at you. That's got to be one. And there's somebody coming at me with a soul render, trying to render my soul. And there's another. And that's got to be one, but you see how grabbing him? He turned around and faced me. So that may not, same thing there, that may not count. Same thing happened there. I made sure to get behind him. When I grabbed him, he turned around. Same thing there. So I'm wondering if any of these are counting. And we can see. We only got three, so none of those counted, in my opinion. Maybe maybe they did. So I'm careful to get behind people, push down on the stick, pull the left trigger. Wait a minute, don't shoot them. There we go. I'm willing to die to chalk up a kill from behind. See, every time, every time they turn around and face you when you go to execute them. And this, the execution took so long I died. That would have been a sure shot. It's got to be one. I tried to execute my own person. That's got to be one. Let's see where we are. Eight. So we got seven more. It's got to be one. That one, I grabbed him, he turned around. He turned around. Swinging at the air. Shocked that guy didn't kill me. I'm slicing air here. That's got to be one. Here shows it slicing through the shield. Do that in slow motion. See that? Went right through the shield, took it away from him, and put his gourd on the ground. And there it is, priceless. We're done. So let's have a look at it. There it is, soul render, priceless. Let's take a look at that priceless camo. Looks okay. It looks kind of like a samurai sword. And there it is, an interstellar. Hey, if you're with me this long, please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers. Peace.